Yo, what up, my young kings? It's your boy O here, back here with another video. So, I'm here to talk about three reasons why your dating life isn't where it wants to be right now, why your dating life sucks, and what you need to do to transform it, okay? So, if you guys are new to the channel, I like to teach guys how to get the girls a dream, live an attractive lifestyle, and improve their self while learning how to get girls at the same time, okay? So, make sure to like and make sure to subscribe, but let's jump into this video. So, I found out that with a lot of guys, the reason why they're not attracting the girl they want at this current moment, or even they've been approaching girls for years and years, they've been on Tinder for years and years. Even me, myself, I struggled this at one point. I remember when I was in high school, right? I couldn't get any girls, okay? I was approaching girls, but here was a simple hack that changed it. You have to realize, if you want to get a girl, you have to have something to offer. Okay, I can teach you all the pickup lines. You can watch all my infields. You can learn as much dating advice as possible, but if you don't have nothing to offer, why does a girl want you, okay? Why? Okay, you should still have confidence, but think about it. You want that girl because she's beautiful. She has a nice body, maybe nice hair, or she has a cool personality, whatever, but that's her offering something. So guy, your guy, what do you have to offer? Make sure, okay, you can get a good job, okay? Make sure to, you can go to college or get a high income skill and develop your money this way. So your provider, so your alpha male, having good status and good money helps you out, okay? I guess. Or, if you don't want to focus on the money aspect, you can focus on the fashion aspects, okay? Like, yo, I was with a student last weekend, and we was joking about it. Like, yo, you can get fly as hell off of H&M, okay? Like, you need to look at some of my fits. Like, yo, I never, man, I, I, buy, I got some I got some designer shoes, some Jordans, you know? But most of my outfits, like, yo, they're like $40 from H&M. Basic t-shirts, basic pants, right? Basic shoes. Like, look at me right now. I got some Vans. Hey. But... As long as you make sure they fit it and they fit you properly, that's you make sure you look good, okay? And then also, if you can't offer nothing for for money-wise, fashion-wise, where you can offer something is by being charismatic, charismatic, by being a social person. You will introduce people to other people. You build connection. You're the networker person, okay? Or you invite people to the kickbacks to party. Like yo, Halloween's coming up in two weeks, okay? You better be throwing a Halloween party or something, cause that's how you can connect people together. You're offering something. You're offering value, okay, to our life, okay? Another thing. When it says what to offer, like, yo, you guys want girls with nice bodies. Why aren't you in the gym, okay? I know I'm skinny as hell, but I'm still working out every single day so I can get bigger. Like, when I started approaching girls in high school, college, I was at, what, 130. I was at 150. Now I'm at 170, okay? The bigger I'm getting, the more attractive I'm getting to girls, okay? So get in the gym, okay? Like, you know you know that feeling when you're with a girl, you're hanging out with her, and she touched your body, like, oh, you're kind of strong. Oh, oh, oh. So now, but yeah, you guys get what I'm saying. And if you guys are into fitness, like, yo, leave in the comments stuff that you guys do that helps you get bigger, okay? Because I'm trying to get bigger myself, too, and I'm learning from each one of you guys, okay? So you guys are learning from watching my videos. I learn from everything you guys put in the comments. Like, I know a lot of you guys are kind of petty. You guys, my comments and crazy stuff but i take every one of y'all advice and i listen to okay but i don't listen to when you guys say i'm a dancing monkey i don't like that i don't like that but make sure you get what i'm saying okay so make sure you have value to offer okay ah, that hurt. so now let's think about it for a second too okay another reason why your dating life sucks and I deal with it too. All these traits, I came from personal experience. Like, you're honestly scared to lose her. It's a thing called one-itis, okay? That's an actual thing. Like, when you see a girl that's beautiful, she's not your type. She's your type. Everything's so perfect. You can't stop thinking about her. Okay, like, yes, I've had the same situation. Like, yo, I get this situation at least once a year. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it'd be a girl, like, it usually happens like this. You know you can get her. She's flirting with you just enough to keep you attractive, and you think you can get her, but you don't get her, okay? She plays with your heart, plays with you. You, you like, think about her all day, every day. Like, yo, oh, my gosh, is she going to text me? Is she going to text me? And she's usually this, like, cute, submissive, bad girl. Trust me. I, I don't even drop names of the girls I've been in this situation, but if you can't tell, I've been in this situation so many times. And you'll be watching the stories, like, yo, how can I get her? Oh, my gosh. So you learn all these things, like, 
You'll be the guy who gets tons of girls. You can approach girls, get anyone you want. You're actually really attractive, okay? But then when you get that one girl, everything just folds. You just crumble, okay? So this is a problem, okay? See, if you want to get girls, you have to be willing to lose her, okay? The way... The reason why you have to be willing to lose her because if a girl knows you don't need her that you she is coming into your life but you don't need her she's gonna be more attracted to you because she's gonna want you more she still can feel like she's pursuing she's not gonna feel overwhelmed and you're not projecting your happiness onto her you're fine without her okay so make sure like yo like, don't be thinking about this girl all day. Make sure you've made this one girl you're dating. Go date some other girls, okay? Go explore the world. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Why? Because most likely, if you're watching my video, you're probably young from like 20 to 30, okay? Maybe 20 to 40, okay? So you still have time to find a girl. Just because you think that girl right there is attractive, trust me, you can find another girl who's just as good as her, who's better than her, okay? So you have to be willing to lose her. And another thing when you dealing with girls the girl's biggest thing to stay with you or to keep act right is their competition anxiety girls are naturally always worried about other girls they're worried about always looking better and they she thinks you're gonna leave her for another girl she's gonna want to do everything right to keep you but once she knows that you're gonna stay no matter what she's gonna walk all over you she's gonna shit test you okay so make sure to be able to leave her no matter what okay okay so another thing, if you want to change your dating life, one last point, which is actually the most important part that every guy does, okay? You get that girl, but now you're texting her way too much, okay? You're not setting up a date. You're looking at text messages like, yo, bro, does she like me? Like, I get tons of DMs every day, like, tell me, interpret this text. Like, yo, does this girl like me? What do you think about this text? And I'm like, basically, like, She's showing interest. She's texting you back. That's all that matters. But you should try and hang out with her as soon as possible. Why? Because the more you text her, the more you're killing interactions, okay? So, guys, like, girls, they love quality time, okay? Any, have you ever had a girl that's be like, yo, we don't spend that much time together, but you're always chilling with her? But she wants that quality time. That's when you're taking her out. That's when you're taking her to the movies, having fun with her, doing something exciting, engaging. Texting, that doesn't count as quality time. So, you don't want to be texting her that much, okay? You want to be texting her to meet up. See, there's, there's two things that put you in front of every guy, okay? So a lot of girls, they usually have guys chasing them, okay? But if you do two simple things, you're going to get pushed in front of every guy. Like, whoo, you're going to skip the line like that, okay? So the number one thing is like, yo, if you call her, if you call her, you're in front of every single guy that texts her because you take, you have confidence. A lot of guys don't like calling. And if you ask her out on a date, other than drinks, you're going to put yourself in front of a bunch of guys. Like, I'm still going to be asking my girls for drinks because I'm not taking them out for food. But I'm just saying, if you do something fun like Sky, sky Zone, food, or going to a go-kart or something like that, you put yourself in, a bunch of, in front of a bunch of guys. So make sure to do this thing. And yo, guys, if you guys haven't noticed, last week, I dropped the logo for my online course coming up soon, okay? So I go deep and down on like how to get the girl you want, how to approach her, how to get her number, how to take on a date, where to take her to, how to text her, all the good stuff. And that, I'm gonna be giving you guys more details coming later. But you guys wanna know more about that? Like, yo, sign up for the, um, sign up for the, sign up for the link description. It's gonna take you to the launch page and you're gonna be the first one notified when this online course drops. You're gonna get a free bonus too, okay? So, you like this make sure to keep on watching but i'm still gonna be posting tons of video so if you guys haven't noticed right in the pua community a lot of guys that are posting infield they're getting it taken down a lot of channels are getting taken down so in my online course i'm going to be posting the majority of my infield there like i have like what about 10 infield footages just there because i don't know how much i can post on youtube anymore without getting taken down so i don't know if i have to go pg but i know a lot of you guys who follow me you guys love the infield and I appreciate that because you guys gave me a lot of support. You guys told me what I did wrong, even though you guys were roasting me on my infield. I can't, I can't, I can't forgive y'all for roasting me like y'all did on my infield. But yo, if you guys want to see that, just sign up for the link description below. And what topics do you guys actually want to see in this course too? Because like the course is going to launch in like December-ish, but I want you guys to know exactly what you guys want in it because we're a community. We're building this together. Anything I make is for you guys. It's not for me because I'm not going to be the one watching the course. You guys are going to be the one watching the course. I'm producing it to help you out. And whatever you want to know, whatever you want that's going to help you out, the type of information, just leave it 
in the description leave it in the comments okay and even if it doesn't go on this course i try to make videos for every single one of my subscribers that takes the time to leave me comments to say what video ideas they want okay nothing as long as it's not od sexual because i'm not trying to get banned from youtube okay but yo guys i freaking love you I'm at 1,800 subs right now. You guys have been watching me since day one, and I really appreciate you guys, okay? So make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram. But yo, guys, I'm going to be in L.A. this week, so I'm going to be living it up. I'm going to try to shoot some vlogs and stuff this weekend, but I don't know. I don't even know what to do in L.A. I'm going to be there from Tuesday to Friday. So you guys know any spots, leave in a comment, but I don't know. I'm going to be, hey, hey, hey. But yo, guys, I freaking love y'all, but yo, guys, I'm out.